This is a Technology Ridecast. I'm Mark Farley. My special guest today is John Obetto. He is from Absolutely Windows and he's a specialist on Microsoft solutions which include their partners uh, such as HP. And that's what we're talking about because today HP came out and announced or publicly said that, that they are shutting, not shutting down their labs operation, but they are rolling it into the product group. Did you see that news, John? Yes, I did. If you remember, Microsoft has done something sort of uh, similar to that, where instead of pure esoteric science, they're going to be focused on, on um, our research that actually leads to products they can monetize. Um, it's now going to be run by a products person. I believe his name is Antonio Neri. Oh, yeah. Who, from, uh, from the interaction between him and, um, and Meg Whitman over the last several uh, events I've seen them at, seems to have a great relationship. Um, and uh, seems to be moving to that number two, um, you know, heir apparent um, uh, position. So I think responsibility might be a way of testing him or seeing how he can actually take those products and bring them to uh, uh, bring them to fruition. There are some new technologies. She talked about the machine. I, I don't know um, um, if you if you have some information on that. But from what I thought, I need to interrupt you, John. What what is this? The machine? Yes, um, that's their their new. Um, Photonics-based computing. So what they're looking at right now is the interconnect within the box and also external to it. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. Is there anything that they can do in a computer, considering Intel's place in this industry and the kinds of things that they like to integrate on their chips? Is there a way for HPE to create a different, within the system, at chip level, interconnect? In, in May, uh, in a... Um in Houston, and also uh, I discovered earlier on this month, I saw some 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 prototypes of the device, and I, I tell you, they they're doing some real they're doing some real great things. I think they might be able to uh, uh, have not just a market winner, but a fantastic differentiator that will be um, that they could license out to other people and make a lot of money off of it. They'll be minting money for a long time. Well, if they could accelerate the development of that by turning the labs into part of a product group, that would be worth the effort. Oh, totally. So they're behaving as if they're a startup, which is hard to, to imagine, right? They're a $50 billion company. I mean, there are very few of those on this planet. But they're, they're behaving like that. Everybody seems to want to do something great fast. And that's, that, that's pretty cool to see. John, thanks so much for being on today. Really love having you.